Hi, nice to see you stop by this video. I think you're interested what is this cool RPG that is on the preview picture of this video. Well, grab your snack and make sure you subscribe to our channel, so in future you will know all the item jam games from Steam. Chances are you are familiar with the original Shovel Knight game that was released by Yunch Club Games in 2014. Shovel Knight Dick is actually a prequel to the event of the first game. Dick takes you back to the good old days when Shovel Knight and Shield Knight work together searching for treasure and fighting baddies. Instead of being a horizontal side-scrolling game, it has been flipped to vertical. This title is a modern roguelike with procedurally generated levels appearing as you dig down. If you happen to die, you can go back to the surface or dig again to start at the tunnel's beginning. If you go back to the surface, you will meet a collection of diverse chapters that are just silly or will help you on your journey. They sell you valuable upgrades or items you can use on your runs. On the surface you'll find a leaderboard that lets you enter daily or weekly online competitions. You submit your high score for the number of gems you retrieved during your run. The gems you recover aren't just for show, they are also used as currency to purchase items from the merchants you find on the surface or down in the ground as you tunnel. You can also spend gems at the bottom wagon that lets you select the items you want to have unlocked so that they can appear when digging down in the tunnel. On the surface, Shovel Knight also discovers the grave of Master Argus. Inscribed on the headstone is a message carved saying that if you are good with the shovel blade and complete these tasks, he will impact West knowledge. These tasks will teach you new techniques to perform with the shovel blade that will be incredibly helpful during your journey to find a real knight. Each run can last as short as is possible of minutes to a few hours, depending on the paths you take and how well you do against the enemies blocking your way. Sometimes you will have a choose between two roads you can take. One looks more manageable than the other but the more difficult road has better rewards for you to collect. Be sure to keep an eye out for walls and blocks that you can break with your shovel, as they can lead to new rooms and treasures you can collect. Either way, you can take your time and go slow as an amorphous drilling machine is coming from above and tunneling down towards you. This added extra pressure to each attempt. If you find you are having a difficult time, index accessibility menu, you can increase the amount of health that Shovel Knight has and the amount of damage the Shovel Blade deals. You'll find items and treasures as you dig down. Lots, bags and treasure chests float around the level that you can hit to get gems to spend on items. Some items are temporary and can only be used for that run until you die. Others are permanent upgrades that Shovel Knight will keep for all his future runs. It is definitely worth collecting as many many gems as you can and saving them to buy these permanent upgrades. As you get stronger, you will be able to dig deeper and find more power-ups hiding under the surface. Starting over can be frustrating, but Shovel Knight Dig is addicting. It's fun to go into the randomly generated levels to see what treasures and foes are waiting for you. In some of my attempts, I only last a few minutes before I would get stuck in a pit of speaks and die because I couldn't get out. Watch what dirt are you digging and ensure you don't get yourself trapped by taking out a block underneath you. The 16-bit graphics and music in Shovel Knight Dick are great, just like you would expect from a Shovel Knight game. Yash Club has done a great job making this spin-off game feel like it fits right in with the other games in the franchise. There are different terms in this underground world, like the mushroom my areas you first visit when you start, there are a lot of fun to play with these mushrooms are strategically placed that you can use to bounce off of the rich areas you usually wouldn't be able to reach. It's 
always nice when scenes are placed in the environment to interact with instead of every scene being stationally and only in the background. The game reminded me of other titles like Spelunky or even Dig Duck with its digging mechanics. Still it didn't feel as brutally hard as I find Spelunky to be. That game makes me frustrated and not want to come back to play more. Here you dig through 4 areas each with 3 sections, then you reach a boss battle. All things considered, Shovel Knight Dig is a brilliant roguelike game that will have lots to offer Shovel Knight fans and roguelike enjoyers alike. If you are up to the high difficulty of the game, you will be rewarded with a beautiful and enjoyable adventure that is totally worth it of the Shovel Knight name. Shovel Knight Dig is a great title for lovers of this game series of roguelike games. With good controls, beautiful graphics, catchy music and a lot of replayability with the daily and weekly challenges, this title will keep you busy for a long time. There are so many items and upgrades to find, every run is a fun quest to make Shovel Knight stronger for his next run. If you have a Steam Deck, this is a great title to play as it looks nice and easily runs at 60 FPS, even when I had it in my inexpensive third party dock. Thanks for watching this video, I hope I made it possible for you to fall in love with this cool indie title. Till the next time.